while filming this part of the show, which is a fashion show of thrift store dresses, I found myself all of a sudden starting to try to remember how to do PK turns and I kept toppling over and you know, doing it in heels probably isn't the easiest. And then my dyslexia set in. I couldn't remember, was it right foot, was it left foot? But I also realized that I haven't been doing this for probably 40 years or so. And then I ended up doing pirouettes down the hall and I did get a little dizzy and I had to stop. So now let's do a little fashion show of thrift store finds. This shirt was a thrift store find. Now this red number I found for $6 and it's a little short, but it will be the perfect length. Once I lose the extra weight that I have put on, I'm still losing, but that length will change once my hips change. When I shop for thrift store dresses, I look for items that are comfortable, classic, a little different and yes once again this is a little tight I've been buying dresses all over the years so they're going to be different staggering sizes but I buy clothes that I could usually wear at different weights this one's kind of pushing it so I'm gonna put it aside I like how it looks like culottes but it's actually a dress I should mention all of the handbags that I'm going to be sharing here also are second hand. This bag is, if I say it correctly, a Tienye. I recently picked up this little picnic basket. It was $38 and I can guarantee you that this costs more than several of the dresses put together. And I should also mention that the dresses I'm sharing with you we're ranging from $6 to maybe 20 if that. Now, I don't want to keep speaking of my weight gain because I'm getting very proud of the weight loss, but I'm hiding something here and I'll show you. Over the course of three years, this is how much I've put on. I can't even zip up my zipper. So this is a gold dress to get into. When I saw this dress, I just had to have it. And I wore this to a black tie gala fundraiser for Dana Farber. And what I'm doing here is I'm showing that the purses that I carry, I don't like to over accessorize too much, but I'm matching the handle of the dress to the silver on the dress. And I also want to note, note that I wear nude color shoes for so many things. It lengthens my short legs and it just works with almost everything. But I did put on some black heels here. I'm bringing in my 50s vibe with this dress. I'm always on the lookout for wrap dresses, which this is. It has a wonderful collar, cuffed sleeves, and I love how it moves and flows. This is a brand new purchase for $8, ladies. $8. I can dress this up or down depending on the situation. And here's another wrap dress I found at the same time. And this one has pockets. Ooh, I almost showed a little too much there. But once again, yes, $8. I found this dress and the black one at Goodwill of all places. I was looking for books and I walked out with dresses. And some of you may recognize this dress. I've worn it in past videos. It is very comfortable. I wear it in the garden with flats. I've worn it with my rubber boots. I've worn it with these high heels. Very comfortable once again.
Now, one thing I have figured out what I believe looks best on my shape and figure. I'm only 5'1". I do try to find items that either have v-necks or off the shoulder. And like I said, I like to wear blush colored shoes to make my short legs look longer. It might come to a surprise, but I do not like clothes shopping. So with thrift store shopping, I can pick it up, purchase it. If it doesn't fit, then I can donate it. Now this dress is super comfortable. It gives, it has a lot of movement to it. It's stretchy. So once again, this, ha this I can wear whatever size up or down I go to pretty much. And I do like to pull it off my shoulder sometime just for a little zhuzh up look. And since it is, um, it's like a lycra of some sort, uh, it stays there. Some of you may be wondering why I haven't put a necklace with any of these outfits. One, if I do, I usually wear something small and one of my favorite necklaces just broke. But if it's a large necklace, I then would not wear the larger earrings. I'm a firm believer that the person should be the beautiful accessory versus the accessories. Does that make sense? Something I would like you to remember, your smile is the best accessory you will ever have. Wear it daily. Okay, now I have to get back to work, but if you liked this fashion show, please let me know. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. And I have a lot of fall clothes that I'm going to be starting to pull out. So I have some more in store for you if you liked it. Okay, now it's time to share a DIY home decorating project I'm working on and an update on our mini bar area under the stairs. It's official. The wallpaper has arrived and today I'm going to get started on it. Now I have two boxes here and I waited to open them just to have you with me. One of them is the wallpaper for this breakfast room. It's the green and white paper that I showed you. And some of you may have seen that the cutting for approval, that's called a CFA, um, came in with the background being more of a creamy white versus the pure white that the first sample had. Now, I had to go with it. I wasn't going to wait for another order and I had already paid for it, so I'm gonna make it work. It's going to be beautiful. I don't wanna to be too OCD about it. This is a houndstooth wallpaper that I'm going to try in the sitting room, but I have a little possible problem with that and I'll explain that in a minute but what got me concerned is this is five rolls and I had to buy five rolls to have it custom made that's how much I wanted this so if you like this and I have some extra give me a, a shout out because I might have it for sale this room was just going to have a half wall of the wallpaper I was afraid it would be a little too much, but you know what? I'm going to go with the full amount and make my decision within a day. If it is too much, I will simply put a cut, remove the lower half, put up my molding, and we'll be all set. So what I have so far set out, and I have to get some more, this is what I use for a lot of my wallpaper so easy to work with. It's called Sure Grip by Zinzer, and you can use it on um, paper that's already pasted or non-pasted. I really haven't used these for so long. These were my mom's, which may have been her dad's. I'm not sure. My mother is the one that taught me how to wallpaper. So I'm gonna give them a little sharpening. I have this sharpener I use for a lot of my gardening tools and I'm gonna give it a try. But if not, I'll have some more scissors and backup. I have a roller for my seams. I have a rubber brush just to help push out bubbles that are within the wall. I have a plastic one too, but if it's a really fragile wallpaper, I prefer using the rubber. And the brush also kind of just helps me move things around. I don't use this once again on anything, usually other than like a heavy vinyl or something that can take it. Now, I do need to get uh, some little razors to help cut. I can't find the adjustable one I have, but I like to have those little cheap inexpensive ones I can keep throwing out because there's gonna be quite a few cuts here. 
and I need to get that. And I'm also probably going to get another container of this. If it seems like there could only be about a quarter, I want to have extra. I would hate to get through half a project and not be able to finish it. But let me show you the problem I have in the sitting room. I'm going to show you this after. One thing with the sitting room I have, I need for more lighting. But, let me see if I can reach the string. So I have finished painting, it looks yellow, but it's not, it's so funny. I have finished painting inside of the shelves, top and bottom, because when you're sitting, I want it to be painted. But my plan was to wallpaper the back wall with the fun houndstooth that I found. It matches this so well, it matches this wallpaper so well. Problem being, I didn't have the wallpaper before the shelves went in, and this shelf is so deep, even on a ladder, my short little, I call T-Rex arms, have trouble reaching it. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get that half shelf up to the top done. I'm gonna have some issues. I might start doing this and get so frustrated with the lack of my being able to reach it. We'll see. Um, I'll be showing you, don't worry. You'll be following along with that one. While I'm over here, I thought I would share and show. I had some that already opened up beautifully and I'll show a close up. But these are the peonies that I put in the fridge when they were in the marshmallow stage, which is kind of when they're maybe about this, and if you put them in the fridge, I would say I took these out over 30 days, maybe 32 days later, and it's working. They weren't the, the healthiest of looking, that's for sure. I'm gonna move this chair out of the way here. So what I decided to do, I'm gonna open these, and then I'm gonna show you how I get my straight lines, because whether you're in a new house, you can't assume that everything's straight. When you're in an old house, you can assume everything's crooked, for sure. So I'm gonna show you how I get my straight lines, and if you're a professional wallpaperer, you might wanna turn away now, because this is what I've learned my whole life. It's worked for me, and um, if there's another way to do it, I'm doing it my way, okay. Oh, so. Since it was cut for me, this is going to be interesting getting it off the bolt, but okay. I've never ordered from this company before. Since it was printed just for us, it's all one roll. Hence the reason, one box, that makes sense. So let's see what we got here. So am I upset that the background is not white and it's creamy yellow? Yes, I am. But it's going to be just as beautiful. Oh, okay, so here's something I am not used to. These edges are not pre-cut. I didn't go with another company because I saw that and I'd have to cut very straight lines. Yikes. Okay, so we're gonna be learning something new together today. I have never done this before. I'm a little sad, actually. Trim and join. Aww. Okay. I'm a little bummed. I'm, I can't even hide it. Can't even hide it. Oh, I'm not good at cutting straight lines. I got the shakes, all right. Let's see if this is the same situation. This, that one is from Quadrill. You know, that's what I get for not asking questions. I don't like running and cutting towards me either. All right, getting there. Well, at least these edges are cut. Mm. I 
might do this, the, I don't know. So this is a hound's tooth wallpaper that I got for the sitting room, for inside the closet. This is from Tebow. So this is a very heavy duty kind of vinyl wallpaper. still can't get over that other wallpaper situation. Professional wallpaperers, you are going to laugh and laugh and laugh. Okay. I'm going to mention this right now. If I find I can't do this properly, I will call a professional over to do this room for me. I don't like to because I am a do-it-yourselfer here with a lot of the home projects, but something like this is might be a little bit past the, my do-it-yourselfer mode. I don't know. But once again, I'm just gonna measure what the finished width of this paper is, and I'll show you why. So I'm gonna be going using 28 and a quarter. So to make sure that I have a straight line, I'm actually gonna go into 27 inches. Well, maybe it's actually here. Let me go back to 28 and a quarter. I'm going to make a line on my wall at 28 and a quarter. Just add a few spots. Now I'm going to go in and see how level those marks are. And then I'm gonna go inside of that. So, wow, that's saying it's quite level, which is surprising. So I'm gonna go in, I'm still gonna go in about an inch. Still gonna go in about an inch here. So I'm gonna make a straight line where this inch and a half going in is. Reason being, I will be coming over here, I'll have some extra. I'll have about an inch and a half extra over here, I'll be able to cut off. But then I'll have a nice straight line on this side. If I didn't have to cut this wallpaper. Oh. But let me just do that. Well, I'm doing it. I'm gonna wave the white flag. I give up. I give up, I surrender. This wallpaper has me beat. I have decided I'm gonna hire an outsider. Now, I ended up calling somebody that I have referred out to clients. And I'm now gonna go have some lunch and take care of my self-esteem and my ego because <laughs> I have never hired somebody to do wallpaper for me. So, but I think it's worth it. I'm, I'm, I'll be ready for it. So anyway, that's the deal. And I have also, while I was at it, decided to call an arborist because we are losing some trees outside here. And I have a situation all different things, I believe. We have an area where chipmunks have been undermining an area. So I lost a rhododendron, I lost an abravitae. I have a situation going on with my very two large boxwoods, boxwoods. And I did have somebody tell me in the past, I have little miners, uh, they're little tiny worms that are inside the leaves that turn into tiny little flies. I did try a neem oil that I did myself, but I'm still having a situation. Out front we have a tree that, uh, it's our dogwood, that some of the branches did not bloom this year and we have some branches that just don't look too healthy. We have a couple trees out back that probably have to come down. And we have our beautiful river birch outside here. It has a tree trunk that's going off to the side. I believe I want that cabled because it is at one point going to get too heavy and break and we want to keep the integrity of that tree nice and strong. So we're going to have a cable put in that. So today I've actually had to call some outside help in 
it happens. It happens. I can't do it alone. I am not a one-man show or a one-woman show. I do need help. So if you can't do something yourself, it might be time to wave that white flag too. But anyway, I'm going to head off to another project. Regarding the giveaway I mentioned in my last video for subscribers, after doing some research, we found out that most of the giveaways on social media sites have been illegal due to rules and regulations. That said, we will be canceling the giveaway due to many potential legal issues, YouTube guidelines, and international guidelines. They are such party poopers, but I'm a rule follower and I'm going to follow the rules. Sorry, guys.